Hey guys, welcome to Pretty Cool Vlog. I'm James, I hope you're having a super awesome day. And uh, you've clicked on the right place if you're looking for something that's pretty cool. Our quest for cool brings us to Disney Springs, where we're gonna eat over here at Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. Yeah, 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 we're stoked. Oh yeah, we're about to dine and shine. Let's go in. So it's pretty cool in here. It's pretty empty today, but it is kind of the middle of the week. It's like a Tuesday. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon. We've ordered some drinks. I'll show you in a minute. Well, looky here, we got some drinks. Because, you know, this place is a moonshine bar. It has a moonshine bar in it. So you got to get a drink that's a moonshine drink. And Jessica got the Moonshine Mash. It's watermelon infused moonshine with watermelon and lime. And it's supposed to have simple syrup, but I did not get simple syrup. And then it's topped with uh, soda water. Okay. Look what Butter just came crackers. up. Our shrimp cocktail. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Now this shrimp cocktail was part of the flavors from Florida, or flavors of Florida thing that they got going on in Disney Springs right now. Boy, that looks pretty good. All right, and then back to my dream. I got a mule shine. It's like a Moscow mule, but it's a, a mule shine. So, should be pretty good. All right, so we're digging into the shrimp cocktail. There we go. So here's what we got. Uh, you take a little bit of this cracker, take a little bit of shrimp cocktail, get all the good stuff on there. And uh, then you eat it, and it's uh, it's it's good. There she goes. <laughs> All right, so this is really good, but it's a little, a little messy. Like I'm trying to figure out how to do it. But anyways, you just do it. Oh, look. Uh, look at this food we got. This looks pretty good. Okay, let's start with JR. He got these chicken tenders, these fried chicken tenders, and they actually look really good for as far as chicken tenders go. Us, on the other hand, we got this here, which is the fried chicken, famous fried chicken. Usually you get like a biscuit and mashed potatoes. All right, so for the side, we opted out of that because we're semi doing, I mean, we are doing a low carb thing but obviously not on this trip. Can't not get the fried chicken. But we gotta get the fried chicken, so there's gonna be our carbs. Uh, but we opted for the uh, the kale and collard greens and a little tiny side of coleslaw. So this, uh, this should be pretty good. Oh, and a side note, um, my drink is, uh, is delicious. This thing is really good. All right, so she's gonna try her first bite of the collards. This is one of her favorite things that she likes to eat. These collard greens. Let's see how they are. Well, I think they're good. I think they're good. She bit my cheek. So good. What? I just bit my cheek. They're so oh, good. Oh man, they're so good. She bit her cheek. And look at this. We're sharing. This really is like plenty of food. Like she got like a whole lot on her plate and I got like a pretty good bit on my plate. It is time for this famous fried chicken. To see what's so famous about this fried chicken. Jessica's going in first. Got some juicy. Oh yeah. That is really juicy looking. Take a bite close up. <laughs> this is a massive chicken breast. Look, I'm eating a lot of it and I've found no bone. It's just all meat. It's like a mutant chicken that is all meat and it's amazingly delicious and juicy. I don't know if you can tell. I think this is a bone up here, but it's probably the elbow or chicken elbow or whatever. But anyways, I had to show that to you because it's incredible. Oh yeah, and these things are really good. These collard greens and kale, kale collard greens. But back to this chicken breast. It's 
big fat giant with the boob. Oh, it's a big boob. Oh, and just like that, we've cleaned, we've cleaned off our table, pretty much. Still got, still got my drink. It's a pretty strong drink in there. Still got some, some to go. We were doing, are doing a, uh, like a low car type of thing. That's pretty much out the window for now. I mean, we'll get back on the train, but for now, that's pretty much out the window. Because look at this little. Look at that. Never underestimate the power of cake. We're not going to underestimate it. Here's some dessert type stuff. Everybody gets that hummingbird cake, so we're going to not do that. We're going to do that shine cake. Oh, uh, yippity do. We got our dessert. This is our shine cake. So it's like a, you know, like a butter cake, which is infused with some moonshine, moonshine syrup type stuff. But it is alcoholic, so no kids allowed. Yeah. It looks like it comes with some ice cream and a little mint leaf. And look, oh, JR, what'd you get? I got uh, a ice cream and donuts. Nice. Some nice cream and donuts. What a cake. Is that pretty good? Yeah, oh, I, hope, I don't regret this later. Here you go. For me? Yep. That's, that's really good. I gotta let you go. Because I'm gonna eat this before she eats, all, eats it all. Dang it. This is good stuff. Look at how dense this cake is. This is crazy. Like how actual dense that is. That's like a... And spongy. Like spongy and dense. So good. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. There we go. Chef Arts. Homecoming restaurant. It's our first time being there. Won't be our last. Anyways, as far as we're concerned, that's pretty cool.